So please get the format straight. I want you to get this because it is very important in financial accounting. So the first thing is the heading. You show your three columns. You put down the currency. The first item here is sales. We less our retaining was to get our net sales. Now the question is, in an illustration where there are no retaining words, then what happens? It means our sales will be our net sales. So we'll put it straight under the third column. So this is the first section of the trading account. The second section is determining your cost of sales. So we, let's look at that right here. So after getting our net sales, the next thing we have to think about is our cost of sales. And we saw the first thing in determining cost of sales is any opening stock. And we know opening stock as a stock at the beginning of the period or the year. So we bring in that opening stock. And always remember that your opening stock will be put at the second column. So your opening stock will be put under the second column. After that, you have to add net purchases. Net purchases. What is net purchases? Your gross purchases less returns outwards and add courage inwards. We explained some of these terms in the previous lesson. Okay, when you purchase and you return some of the goods to your supplier or creditor, you have to less it from your purchases. Now, the cost you incurred in carrying those goods to your business premises also needs to be added. Okay, so we add on net purchases, but Net purchases on the other hand is determined by first of all lessen your returns outwards and adding courage inwards. So because of the nature of this we first put our gross purchases at the first column. So look at it. And then we less the return outwards and add the courage inwards. And I told you the result is going to be your net purchases.